Is it working? Okay, hi guys and welcome back to another episode of the Political Machine 2020. Let's continue on uh, with more um, freedom and diversity with uh, the um, uh, Republican Party. So last time we played as uh, Rand Paul and we failed spectacularly even though his ideology is probably the closest one from the towards which I would potentially affiliate if I were to choose the Republican Party. He did have a pretty cool uh, appearance um, last uh, yesterday. Yesterday, in the case when I'm recording the video, I'm not sure when it's going to come out. It's probably going to be like a week from now or something. So last week or last two, two weeks ago, in your case, where he um, debated uh Lindsey Graham I think in the Senate about something uh, with like uh, due process and uh, detention without trial very cool so I'm glad I gave him the visibility of playing as him in this game uh and yeah that being said we're gonna continue and we're gonna go for something you know I mean, there is Valentino Rutabak. I do want to try and play as him. And as Giant Meteor, I've seen some pretty fancy stuff, pretty fa fancy videos with him. So I'm going to go and try him probably next video. But um, let's go for like the most generic thing that we can go for. And that is Ted Cruz. Ted Cruz has been very close to winning the Republican nomination last time around uh, you know senator from Texas very popular uh, in the conservative and uh, Republican uh, uh, domain that's not the right word Rafael Edward Cruz had no idea his name was Rafael, okay. Division attorney serving as the junior United States Senator for Texas since 2013. He was the runner up for the pro Republican presidential nomination, exactly as I said. Degrees in public policy and law from Princeton University and Harvard School, respectively. Smart guy! Apparently, he is pretty smart. He has a lot of experience and he's relatively rich, but yeah, not the. Uh, Apparently not very charismatic. I, I, it's, I haven't, I can't remember last time I saw him like, you know, on TV. But um, yeah, that, that's the problem with Trump. He just absorbs all the cameras towards him in like such a spectacular fashion that you just don't hear that much about all the other, you know, relatively important. Republican uh, politicians. So, let's see what conservatism is all about. And he's gonna run... I don't know if I should keep putting uh, Joe Biden. I mean, he's still the favorite to win the nomination. Although, you know, uh, there is discussions that, you know, what's gonna happen. He's been very absent now with the coronavirus thingy. And... Um, uh, there is still a chance, very slim, very, uh, very miraculously like, but there is still a chance that Bernie Sanders could somehow pull his weight and win the nomination. There's also the chance that Joe Biden can get sick and die, so you know, we, we can't exclude that, but I guess that's also possible for Bernie Sanders. They're both old, so um, yeah, but the problem is that in this game in particular, Joe Biden is very advantaged so we might lose again but we'll go with it all right so we start in texas all good and fancy over here i don't think we need to do anything in texas considering it's his home state and everything so um yeah we'll start uh, going around pennsylvania although we'll, we'll go for the usual shebang over here um, Ohio, and then Michigan, but we'll have to move away, Alabama, I guess we can 
build one over here and then we can go to North Carolina and what do we have here let's see what what is republicanism about traditional values tax cuts liberty for all a strong military hmm Um, these ones are a little bit iffy. Um, you know, they are gonna give advantage to the opponent. So we'll go with something a little bit more milk toast, maybe. Military, a strong military and liberty for all. Better private insurance. Mm, I don't know about this. That's a lot of voter enthusiasm for the for the Biden, so we'll, we'll try and not go for that. All right, we can do something here. We can talk about fixing the roads, and let's go for the opportunity in Montana. And we just got a bunch of money, which is great. Next, Minnesota. Bang. Farm subsidies, and they already love us. Um, Wisconsin will probably be next, but we'll have to return. There you go. Got the points. We're gonna go back. We're gonna build the headquarters. Uh, yeah, I don't think this is the right way to go, but yeah, I mean. I don't know what much else we can do. I guess we will go for strong military next. But yeah, it's rough getting things done in Washington. Sure, you do that. We'll talk about border protection. Apparently they like that in Wisconsin. Who would have thought? Let's go and get Florida. Let's try and not lose Florida this time around. But I don't know what we can talk about like protecting social security is never gonna get us we can talk about the coronavirus funding NASA I guess supporting support for Israel is something that we could go for in Florida uh, what else what else uh, yeah we need North Carolina get out of there Biden it's not for you ah I have an interview on the good day. Uh, oh, again with the American not being the greatest. It's fake news. It's an American is what it is. Put the government in charge for the media. Why do I always have to do something? Uh, okay. I mean, all of those options are not that great, so... Oh my god, the fucking active one. They get active, it's their own business. We shouldn't be doing... We shouldn't be telling Americans what to do. Alright, that was... Good, apparently. Okay, we got the points. So we can go for strong military gun rights or stronger law enforcement. Mm. Both are uh, pretty important. Let's go to Kentucky. Hey, we got a fan and we can build a campaign headquarters. Okay. Let's go into here, do this, talk about stopping the coronavirus. Um, hmm. We'll go back to Florida and we'll try to give some speeches over there. Could hire an operative, start doing stuff with that. Alright, 
We might need some extra money. Ooh, Pennsylvania is sleeping. And Ohio, what is going on? Damn, it's always so hard to keep up with Biden. I don't know how, but... It's, uh, it is what it is in this game, at least. Alright, we can choose our running mate. Who would he even choose? Ted Cruz. I don't think you'd choose Donald Trump, if I were to be completely honest. Let's go with Mitt Romney. Another town hall meeting. I could have talked about coal mining. Uh, missed that one. We'll be back for it though. Reducing the wealth gap. Let's do some fundraising. He got Andrew Yang. Okay. Okay, we do want to fund NASA, that's for damn certain. Oh boy, oh boy, look at that fucking difference. Um, he got an ad or something. Uh, yeah, I haven't really spent that much in ads. Um, so I could probably do that. Maybe that will work. Wisconsin is um, trending very red, which is uh, also pretty amazing. Um, coal mining. Stopping the coronavirus. That should hopefully work out. Ah, we lost all our stamina. Alright, another interview. Tucker Carson. Oh, about the... Celebrities. Then he said that the disagreement will be shot out of a cannon. <laughs> we could sell tickets to it. Deficit is getting ridiculous. Yes, we're gonna slash spending. Come on, that was pretty good. What the hell, what the hell do you want from me? I'm really trying my best here. There's just... Nothing. And I just have nothing to work with. Uh, Cruz opposes selective immigration. Uh, what? I don't think that's that's right. over here in Delaware we got money which is always good let's get the smear merchant and put him over here and we'll go there as well oh this is our ad should hopefully help out. Can we do anything with the ideologies? Not really. Ugh, they're expensive. Let's get an intimidator. And I, I accidentally pressed and turned twice and I think it got me. Fuck, that might have been bad. Gun rights. Come on. Republicans, please. 
Holy shit, this is incredibly difficult. Alright, we got some extra money here. Let's get another spin doctor. Let's go over here. A strong military. God damn it. If only we had put our points into a strong... Oh, we already have strong military. Okay, that's great. Uh, we might win. That really uh, flipped us strongly there. It's gonna be it's gonna be tight though. It's gonna be really really tight. How are we doing? Enthusiasm is all full over here, so I'm guessing it's gonna have to be another spin doctor. We're almost at the end here. Uh, we're not gonna win. Oh, we might win Florida. Let's try and focus on this though. There's no way you can flip Michigan at this point, huh? Well, at least we can make one more add. And where shall we go and try and influence? I think we need to go into Florida and hope to flip it. Holy shit, look at this. Oh my god, we're gonna lose the fucking Mid-South. Mississippi, Louisiana, Oklahoma. All going Democrat. What is going on? Um, let me grab a fixer and uh, take out one of his guys there and that should guarantee Pennsylvania I mean I, it's huge difference there I don't think we can um, do an electoral college spin but we'll try okay we did win Pennsylvania we didn't win that we lost South Carolina. What? Okay, we got Florida. There is um, some hope. Ah, oh, we lost Ohio. Damn it. Ugh. Oh my god, that as well. This is this is just painful. We did get Wisconsin and um, what is that? Losing those like. This is the weirdest fucking electoral map I've seen in ages. Oklahoma going Democrat. And even these states. At least we got Texas. I mean, thank God, am I right? Yeah, it's gonna win it. Like, there is always California going Democrat. So, yeah, we, we tried. We were, we were close. I think much closer than we were with the... Uh, that, but please tell me we get got Alaska this time. Oh, thank goodness! <laughs> oh, it's hard. We even got. We used less ideological points. Yeah, I just I didn't really see where to use them. They were so mm, controversial issues. Um. We did spend more money, we even had like the advantage with the events, but that wasn't enough, so yeah, I don't know what um, what we could have done much differently. Oh, these guys want farming subsidies? Oh, fuck, didn't you tell me? Could have gotten them bollocks oh uh, maybe I should do more with ads that is something that I've not done as much but yeah they function differently from the previous game and I'm still trying to you know figure it out but yeah I don't <laughs> this is one weird map man uh, anyway hope you guys enjoyed watching make sure you have a like subscribe if you want to see more and next time we'll be doing some weird shit so let that beat.
see you guys next time. We're going to make it yeah, stop working. Bye bye.